Yes. Text her because I'm going to focus. Hey, everybody. Okay. Welcome, welcome. We are live. Hey. And, uh, man, Janetta, tonight's going to be a great conversation. It is. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm excited. Got an amazing Thanksgiving. I pray everybody who's watching had an amazing Thanksgiving. You did that. Jewel hosted the hostess with the mostess. You have been amazing. Just epic, um, period. <laughs> you know, I was so grateful and uh, grateful for, of course, you got, hey guys, I'm on a live. Camera's still here. Uh, <laughs> but no, I'm so grateful, you know, to have our parents alive and well. And uh, this is the first Thanksgiving that grandma moved to heaven. So I think it was, I think, you know, she's in heaven smiling at um, just everybody coming together. It just really made it really special uncles and cousins. And I don't know, I think, I feel like this year, and you probably feel the same way maybe. And I think we've always been really grateful for family and welcome everybody coming on. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm excited to have hey, you guys everybody. on. <clears throat> but I really felt like a really strong sense of, I don't know if it's because grandma moved to heaven, but I felt like this really strong sense of gratitude and abundant love for the family. Did you yeah. No, you? this this Thanksgiving hit different. This yeah. Thanksgiving, um, I think it was the first time I realized our assignment and job as it relates to the elders. I think, I think I, it was a shift. You know what I mean? I think yeah. it comes to a point you're like, you're the kid coming to family gatherings. It's like, yay, you just come. But I felt a sense of taking care of the legacy. Yeah. I, I got to see the, the maturity, the wisdom of our elders. And I'm like, oh, wow, we got to preserve that. So yeah. I, I left. It was great. It was amazing. But I also left with a real clear understanding of our assignment that the roles kind of yeah. shift. Yeah. <laughs> I really did. I really did. And so, uh, so yeah. I, that was the biggest thing for me. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, for sure. Hey, Chantel. Chantel's hey. out here. Jackson. Hey, everybody. Juanita, Amber, Janice. Hey, excited to have you guys on here tonight. Make sure you share this um, feed and uh, let people know we're on. We're going to have some really good conversation. But I think you're right. I think it was a greater awareness that we have a responsibility to um, not, like you said, just show up and like everything's together, but no, we're the ones preparing and supporting and helping and extracting what's in the elders. Cause I've noticed kind of sometimes that when people do get older, what's up Leticia, that they can kind of get a little quiet, you know? Yeah. You, you know what was, what was interesting too, I you know, when we were at the airport heading back home, I asked the children, I said, like, what was the best thing about it? And Todd said his favorite thing was seeing the kids and the, their response. So it was interesting that that next generation, you know what I mean? So they're more conscious and aware. Um, and I and I think that's so good. He was like, it was the kids seeing wow. Billy. Yeah, right. Seeing Dream, like that the Joshua and Max, that was yeah. his favorite part. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we had what four generations here, uh, Pierce yeah. and West, uh, Angela, yeah. Katrina. It was four generations here, and so yeah, I think um, I'm excited, and I'm excited that God has blessed us to be able to bring um, support and aid. And you know, it made me think about when I was a senior in at University of Michigan, and the financial aid had run out. Um, and, you know, mom and dad weren't able to do anything because they were going through their transition. And I remember going to both my grandparents, my grandma and my granddad, and they were able to, Demetrius, come in and literally they split the tuition that lap my senior year. I'll never forget it. Wow. And um, But now for such a time as this, 
God is raising us up to put wealth into my sister's hand, to my hand, and to many of your hands, because you're going to have a responsibility to be able to bless other people. So one of the things we wanted to talk about tonight is legacy and family. And then I think Melanie helping everybody to kind of understand if you haven't thought about, hey, what is your role in the family? And and you really can't help anybody if you're broke. And if you are broke today, um, no need to condemn yourself or beat yourself up, but to say, hey, let me position myself so that not only can I help myself, but I want to be in a position to help nieces and nephews and cousins and uncles and aunts and so on. Yeah. Yeah, no, you know, going to um, Tennessee, we were in Tennessee for Thanksgiving and shout out to Ben and Jewel again, outstanding hostess with the mostess, right? But it's always really cool because it reminded me when I was a single mom on welfare in Murfreesboro and now here today. And so guys, I just encourage you, just share this feed. I'm telling you, it's going to be a blessing because one thing about um, Jewel and I, well, first of all, shout out to our parents. They raised us to have a heart for people. You know, when we were growing up, my dad, especially, if he saw a homeless person, dad could not go past a homeless person. He always had a spirit of take care of your brother, take care of your sister. But I think the biggest thing I want to encourage people, um, you know, from this live is understanding that it doesn't matter where you are. Gosh, I, that's just so amazing. I don't care where you are. There's opportunity. There are fresh starts. And tonight we're going to talk about how you can really... Um, Really, it's, it's all about mindset, right? The difference between the wealthy and the poor is education, exposure, and their mindset, really, at the end of the day, right? You know, even though it seems like, oh, my gosh, they're so smart. How do they do it? They just know some things that we weren't necessarily exposed to. And so I just want to encourage you, if you're watching, just know that wherever you are, that you are more than able. I don't care if you have nothing, because when I come to Tennessee, as I was driving to your house, Jewel, I drove down the street, Northfield Lodge and mm. you know, Northfield Boulevard. And I told the kids, that's where I was a single mom on welfare. Mm. Right. And thank God that's not my testimony today. But it's just amazing how when you get that exposure and education, you can literally flip the script. So that's just so exciting. So I, it was just kind of memory lane. Yeah. Out. A lot going on. It's great. I think I think memory lane helps you to really like get a high level. I think we both grown in a lot of grace. Yeah. Um, a lot of, and I was even thinking today, like, gosh, you know, that could have been me, or that, you know, everybody doesn't grow. Mm -hmm. Everybody doesn't grow emotionally. Everybody doesn't grow mentally. Everybody doesn't grow spiritually. Everybody doesn't grow financially. Yeah. There are some people yeah. who are still living check to check, and 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 Jeanette and I heart both is huge to want to make sure people can know that you don't have to keep living from check to check. Yeah. You don't have to be on the constant grind. You don't have to be on the constant hustle. Because I think as a community, we know grind. We know, hey, let's get in here. Let's make it happen. Let's hustle. And I think there's a time for that. But I think there comes a time where it's like, I want to grow from the grind. I want to grow from the hustle. And one of the things we've seen coming from an entrepreneurial family, we're talking to our uncle. I don't, I don't know if you moved over to the conversation by this time, but okay. one of our uncles was talking about buying a million dollar yacht. He's looking at a yacht for right around 800 or 900,000. Yeah. And, and I'm so like proud of them, him and his wife, for, you know, being able to do something like that. But, but I think, it, it, it made me really grateful because a lot of times we've seen entrepreneurship in our family. We've seen our parents, we've seen uncles, we've seen aunts, we've seen cousins, but entrepreneurship does not necessarily equate to real wealth building. Yeah. That's so good. One of the things we just, I just took 50 female investors or I took some men to actually to New York. And we were looking at, again, the Rockefeller model as we did earlier this year in Martha's Vineyard, the Rockefeller model of the wealthy, he sold all, they end up selling off all his businesses and he became a very heavy investor. Yeah. And now today, the ROI, which stands for return on investment, pays for all those family members living lifestyle today. Listen, okay, so that part, right? Um, that, you know, one thing um, Uncle Doug said, our uncle, uh, which was really good. He said, one thing about our family, we come from a family of entrepreneurs. We're going to get bags. It's just, it's just, we're stamped. It's in our DNA. It's in our blood. We're going to get to the money, but, 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 but the question is, do you know how to the investment part and can you keep it? Yeah, that part. 
And so I think that's what this live is really about. And I know for me, really over the past two or three years, you know, made millions in business, but I was not an investor. And that was a mistake. And I'm, and so, you know, really understanding, I think about the cash flow quadrant and, you know, Robert Kiyosaki, he talks about, you have your employees, you're self-employed, you have your investors and big business. The wealthiest people are your investors and big business. And I really think those two go together. That's idea, right? And so until you learn how to make your money, make money, <laughs> It, it, it's great. I, I salute you. You're my fellow entrepreneur has been there, done that. I made millions ground up, right? Single mom all the way to million. Got you. But what about understanding how to make money while you're asleep, while you're at the beat, where you physically don't have to be there? That is really the key. And so that's really what we're here to talk about. And that's what Uncle Doug said, you know, like we, we're going to make money. I, I was at the table when we were talking about that. Uh, th listen, this group right here, it's just, you know, we, we were, that's, this is what our family does. But now we need to take it up a notch and each generation should get better. And the better is the investing. Big business, business is good, but you got to invest. You got to diversify, learn to make your money, make money. That is so good. And so one of the things that I want to talk a little bit about saving versus investing, because most people in the lower class, middle class, and when I, when I speak of these classes, this is not in any, about any kind of disrespect or one is better than the other. It's just strategy is different. When you think about lower class, middle class, make money, make money, spend money on bills, lifestyle, bins, private school, mansion, penthouse, lifestyle, you want nice let me work, work, work hard. Okay. But then what happens is if you don't make a decision to invest it, because here's the thing about saving. When you save money, let's just say you have $20,000 saved. Great job on that. But God forbid, if the water heater breaks, you need tires on a car, whatever you go in, you got to pull that 20,000 and you say, okay, I'm going to put it back at some point. It might take years to put back. I cannot tell you how many times I saved money, right? And said I was going to put it right back. And that right back didn't happen. OK, yeah. anybody else out there experience that, <laughs> you know, besides me, I'm going to yeah. save it. But then the minute something happened, it was going on back at zero. Let me grind, 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 get it back. No, what I got to do is invest because the, the, the definition of investing is I take my money, I invest it an investment platform that's going to multiply my money automatically without anything that I'm doing. Now, if I put twenty thousand dollars in an investment account something comes up, I don't have to use the 20,000. I'm using the ROI that's being paid out on a weekly basis, right? Monthly basis, whatever. So now my 20,000 is still intact. And yeah. that's, what that, that's why savers end up being losers and investors end up becoming wealthy and even wealthier. Scripture says the poor get poor and the rich get richer. What's the difference between the rich and the poor? The rich most of them have an understanding and a revelation on investing their money. The poor is thinking about saving their money and they're, they're afraid to take risks. They're afraid to invest. But what they don't realize, if you don't invest the thing that you're afraid of, you still going to end up living it, which is from check to check. <laughs> that part, that part right there, you know. Um, yeah, I mean that, I think that's the biggest revelation and, and it's interesting because we're never really taught that at any point, you're not really taught that. And that's the secret kind of the wealthy, you know, one thing I can say, just being in business, you know, our whole life, we've been around business, our, we, our whole family's in business in one capacity or another. That's all we've ever seen. Um, but that investing piece, right. And that's why you look at the wealthy, they just generations. You're like, how do they keep keeping the bag? Even if the even if the offspring is an idiot, can we just be honest? Right? <laughs> All the offspring go, and I'm just saying, they still got the bag though. You're like, but they're <laughs> because yeah. they understand that basic principle. And so I think that's the biggest thing. You know, if I could tell anybody, if you're really serious about, you know, building real wealth, mm -hmm. business is great, but investing and that and that's something I mean, relatively new to me. Um, I, you know, I'm so thankful, you know, you know, God's blessed me with the business. And, and so now I just move so different. <laughs> like the way I think is so different. Even so Christmas is even different. 
I'm not even out there like, oh, Gucci that, Louis that. I'm like, what investment could I get into? Because I understand that's the gift that keeps on giving. And so that's why education is so powerful. And it just, you know, as we think about this season, you know, a lot of you are meeting with your family or all these types of things. Guys, we got to understand, man, we got to we got to really um, just kind of just reset the way we think about money um, and, and understanding investing is really the key. And, I, you know, I'm so proud of you, Joel. Actually, uh, George and I, we got we came home and there's a festival here in Baltimore called Christmas Village. And it's like all Christmassy and food. And we walk we we're walking downtown and off the water. It's just absolutely fabulous. And the yachts are out. They're decorating with their Christmas decorations, all that good stuff. Anyway, I was just telling I told my husband, I said, I'm so proud of my sister. She, you're so disciplined. You're so disciplined. And, you know, investing is like you could do certain stuff, but you, until you reach certain markers, but the thing is also that I told him, I said, you're so like that investment piece. I'm so proud of you and inspired by you because you do not play. Dr. Jewel Tankard, I, she doesn't play with them investments, baby. She, she, she walks the walk. She talks at all of that. And I was just saying to him, I said, man, that's just so awesome. We're, we're literally having a discussion about that. But there are things you could do, but you're like, no, where are my investments? Until I reach a certain point, then maybe I'll go there. And I, I, just, I just think it's beautiful. Uh, well, thank you, sister. And I'm so proud of you, too. And I think, you know, like you, I, I'm, I'm, you know, been living off of the ROI now. Um, I would say strong for the last two years. Strong. Mm. Mm -hmm. I've been investing for a while, but, you know, I had big goals. And so my ROI had to be at a point where I could say, oh, you know, now my ROI is, 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 is outrunning my income. But, but I didn't start there. I started with investing maybe a hundred dollars a month, you know, some years ago. And then as I kept learning and having these things introduced to me. And so, but this is the thing that I want to know that I want to say, Jeanette, is I want everybody to know, start where you are. Yeah. I started investing $100 a month probably 20 years ago. You know what I mean? Like, I knew that there was more. And I'll never forget, and, you know, we have a very good family friend that was married to someone very, very wealthy. And I'll never forget, he went through a very bad bankruptcy. He had over 3,000 employees and very bad bankruptcy. And they had just built a beautiful home. You know what I'm talking about. They had just yep. built a beautiful home, 20,000 square feet. Rolls Royce, you know, children in private school, housekeepers. Cause, and I'll never forget his lifestyle didn't change. And I'm thinking, okay, I got to find out. Okay. You it's two kind of brokes. You got a rich broke and then a broke broke. <laughs> rich broke and broke broke, them two different worlds, baby. Rich broke, honey, you, things are still getting done. Bro, you know, and so that's good because. There are things that business cycles for those of you in business, they're the ups and the downs. You, you have to understand it's a part of it. Every business has it. But the thing that will shield you and protect you is the investment. And that's what we saw. We literally saw a rich broke because he ain't broke for real. <laughs> they never lost, the, their, they did not leave the estate, the, lose the estate. They had other homes and other places too, in particular at the time. And no lifestyle change. It was devastating for them, I think, emotionally. And I, I think probably, you know, some income. Sure, but the fact sure. that they were able to maintain everything spoke volumes to me. Where we've seen other people in our family and out of our family, business was high. Their lifestyle was high. But the minute the business shifted, everything was lost. And so, yeah. I, I, you know, I think from that moment, I was like, okay, God, you got to show me these strategies. And so you do, you got to start where you are. Start with $500, start with $1,000. Don't wait and say, okay, I'm going to wait until I get, you know, 10,000 or 20,000 or 30,000. I would also say this, if you have money just sitting in a savings account, I mean, I'm not telling you what to do with your money. I want you to think. This is a conversation that we want you, I want you to think. We both want you to think. If you got $40,000 in a savings account, how much money has your how much has your money grown since it's been there? Mm. And it's and the answer is going to be zero because the banks and even in a you know traditional credit union they're not even paying you one percent a year. 
So now you got maintenance fees. So now that 40,000 is no longer 40,000. Now that 40,000 is probably 39,800, which means that if your money is not keeping up with inflation and inflation right now, if you include gas and utilities and food, we send it about 17% a year. So if your money is not growing at least 17% a year, that means you are losing, you are becoming poorer and poorer. And it seems like it's taking more to have just less. And yeah. the second job is not the answer. A third job is not the answer. Labor was never, ever, ever meant to be able to meet your needs. Until you become an investor, you always work hard for very little. Yeah, yeah. And that's so good, Jill. You know, powerful, powerful. Um, you know, when you think about becoming an investor, I know for me, it was like super scary. You're like, I, I don't know how to read the stock market and where do you begin? And I think one thing that I, I think is beautiful about what we do is it, it's for the novice. It's for the person who knows nothing. We're like, we got you <laughs> because I was that person. A lot of times, you know, you get money, you're like, okay, cool. But then the whole investing piece, it just sounds like something over your head. And so to think that you could come in and invest knowing nothing, right? And that somebody will hold your hand, walk you step by step uh, and show you exactly how to do it doesn't have to be a scary thing. I think a lot of people want to invest, but it seems so scary. You know what I mean? It's just like looking at the stock market, it looks like these guys all have PhDs and math. Like it just seems like something so beyond you and it's something you may want to get into, but you just don't know where to start. And so I just think it's beautiful that no matter where you are, and that's what's a, such a game changer about this the season we're in, anybody can become a participant. I think there were times in the past where you had to have a lot of money to get involved in, you know, high uh, ROI, you know, in investments, but that that isn't now, you know, now anybody can become a part. You just have to have an open mind, a willingness to learn and say, yeah, I'm ready to do it. And that, that's the beautiful part, you know, Again, I think investing seems scary. First of all, it's just stuff you just didn't understand. You had to have a lot of money. And most people are like, yeah, that's not me, both of them. So that's just not something I'm going to do. But that's not the case anymore. So that's amazing. No, that's so good. And, and people are on here saying, how do I get started? Absolutely. You can start by reaching out. Uh, Janetta, where do you want them to reach out? Go Oh, beginmylegacy.com. If they okay. go to beginmylegacy.com, I think um, okay. they could go there. Just say I'm, I'm ready to get started. I'm interested or whatever. But I get it, guys. I think that's what's so unique. Actually, you know, I, I say I was a single mom of welfare, but you were too. You know, I remember we were both living. In, and I think that's one thing that's really unique about us is that we we understand both sides. You know, a lot of times people were either really wealthy and had everything or just didn't ever have anything. We get that. We get that. And I think that's why we're so passionate like, listen, we, we we get it. We understand. Like, we're not just saying something that we don't know about. And we're willing to help you, to walk you through. Um, and it's super easy, honestly, super easy. It's just a willingness to learn and to say, hey, I, I'm, I'm willing to learn. I'm willing to listen. And, and we got you. Yeah, absolutely. Just spell that right. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, okay <laughs> good. Good job. <laughs> good job. Yay. <laughs> Man, I did it right. Yes. I to make sure. Yeah, but reach out if you want to start investing. Just reach out to beginmylegacy.com. And we do hold your hand. It is for everyone. You don't have to have a lot of money. You can be brand new to the world of investing. Um, and, and I think for all of us, it's scary. I mean, every investment that we're in right now, there is a level of risk. But I always tell people it's a risk if you do it. But if it's a risk, if you don't. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a, sure. it was a risk. I, you know, when I started with this one particular platform 13 months ago, I was getting ready to pay off my G-Wagon, oh, $42,000 on it. And, you know, I could have just sent it straight to the bank. But I was like, hey, this opportunity just came. Let me invest it and I'll use the ROI to pay off the note. So every single week, I'm, you know, averaging $1,000 to $1,600 a week after $42,000. I was excited about that. And I just kept paying it down, paying it down, paying it down, paying it down. And um, and next thing I know, March, from October to March, I messed around paying off my G-Wagon. I was like, dog, the ROI paid off the G-Wagon, right? Exciting. But the $42,000 was still intact. Mm. And that's the difference between the rich and the poor. So I could have just paid it off. But I'd rather take my income to invest. Katrina has a very good question. She says, since the market went down, 
talk about that. I'm so glad that you brought that that's up. Good. Yeah, that's really good because a lot of times when you think, now think about this, every asset class has been up under pressure. The real estate, we saw that asset class in, in, in uh, 07, 08, you know, the, the big short happened. All these banks were taking, you know, giving loans out to people that they really couldn't afford it, but it didn't make the asset obsolete, right? We see Wall Street right now. We saw big changes in Wall Street several years ago. Bernie Madoff, you know, Enron. You always have like crazy, crazy shakeups. You have bad actors in every asset class, but it didn't make the asset class obsolete. Same thing with crypto. We see FTX, oh my gosh, bad actor who saw Sam. You have people like uh, your boy, uh, what's the boy name from Shark Tank, was in Tom, o Tom O'Reilly, I think it is. And you had all these people, celebrities, Tom Brady pushing oh, yeah. FTX, and then it collapsed. You're like, oh my gosh, is crypto yeah. going away? No, real estate didn't go away. The yeah. Wall Street didn't go away with Bernie Madoff. And, yeah. you know, Bitcoin is not going away because of FTX collapse. It's just a shake up in it. But it doesn't mean the asset class is obsolete. And so yeah. I tell people, don't be afraid of that. Right. Yeah. No, that's super good. Um, there is a site. I think it's well.io. Um, and I love that. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to look at just to make sure. But bottom line is it yeah, shows you what is happening. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think it's well. We're going to figure it out. Yeah. Look it up. Well.io. I'm pretty sure. It shows you what the wealthy are doing with their money. And I think it's interesting in the crypto space, <laughs> even though cryptocurrency is in a, a bear market, it's down or consolidated, if you will, the wells are buying and buying a lot of it. Is that it, Jewel? Do you see it? With well okay, that is it okay, wait, is it W-E-L-L? W-H-A-L-E, like a well. Oh, okay. I-O. Okay, cool. Anyway, it shows you real time transactions of cryptocurrency um, transactions of what people are buying in the crypto space. And um, bottom line is this even though the market is down, the wealthy are still buying crypto by mm. the drone. Major mm. corporations are still, you know, mm. buying crypto. And so it's, it's important to understand that uh, this is actually an opportunity. It's an opportunity yeah. to get something on sale. Um, yeah. And that's really what ha what's happening. Even in the stock market, there's certain mm -hmm. uh, companies that you might have wanted to invest in. You're like, oh, it's down. See, that's the thing. Why do we always want to buy stuff when it's up? <laughs> Who wants to buy some, some shoes you wanted at the highest price? No, I want to yeah. buy it when it's on sale. And so I just think it's really interesting um, that you really pay attention to what's going on don't just look at the news and take it for face value, quite frankly. Um, that's why community is important. Being yes. in a community with a Dr. Jewel or myself or things like that. So you really understand with the moves, how the wealthy are moving. Uh, you know, yes. I don't care about the general population. What are the wealthy doing? That's what I want that's to know. It. That's <laughs> it. That's, that's it, awesome. girl. That is it. I tried to get on there and it was asking me to connect to a wallet. Then it froze. All right, hold on. No, that's not it. I'm gonna find it. You, yeah. Let me let me look because yeah, you look at that. Right. Yeah, okay. no, but that that's true. Oh. Just look at what. I think I found it. Oh, sweet. okay. Here it is. Okay, it's oh, well. You just the screen. Okay, oh, okay. Share. Okay, what is it? Well. No, it's well alert. It's well alert. Oh, oh this, well alert. This is gonna be real good. Dot com. Yeah. No, it's um well and then hyphen alert.io this is gonna be All good right. you share this well w-h-a-l-e hyphen right. alert.io right. all right yeah, this is gonna be real good okay. <laughs> because right. you can see i think it's so good because this is actual things for now hey for now this these are like real live transactions of cryptocurrency and i just think that's so good because like oh my god Crypto's dead. It's not working. Like, no, the, the rich are getting major bank and, mm -hmm. and understanding this is everything's on sale. So, well, Renell put it in the um, chat. Too. I got it too. I got it right here. Yay. This is, I like nerd out on the site. I love this Listen. so much. I These are it. real live transactions and you can see the different cryptos uh, that are being bought. You got a lot of USDT going on. I know it's kind of small. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, these are real live. Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, they're picking the stable coin because they still want to be in the market. Exactly. Which is smart. You know yeah. what I mean? So even if Bitcoin goes down to 13,000 or 12,000, which it very well could be, I yeah. like what you said, Janetta. You got to pay attention to the wells. Don't pay attention to the general population because unfortunately, Sandra, the general population is in fear. And when people are in fear, they do nothing. And so what yeah. happens is you have a small sector of people that are still making moves, investing, not allowing fear to rule them, and they're going to become richer faster than anything else you've ever seen. And then unfortunately, you have the general population that ends up doing very little to nothing at all. And then they look up 2020, and it's, the end of 2023 is here, the end of 2024 is here, and they are in big trouble. And so yeah. my sister are on here tonight saying we are sounding the alarm. God is, has a mandate on our life to make sure that people get off of this economic plantation of job to job, even as entrepreneurs. Thank God for your business, but you must become an investor. My sister yeah. and I both have been blessed to make millions of dollars in business, but we've also taken some hits too. But at the end of the day, what we've learned, if you become an investor, Right. And if you become an investor and we're not talking about just investing in any little thing, are there scams out there? Absolutely. But it's scam pharmacists. It's scam doctors. It's scam dentists. It's scam every particular professional. Wait, your job is a scam. Listen, listen. <laughs> the job listen. you're working. Don't listen. I'm just saying your job okay. just over broke is a scam. I'm just it's saying scam. it's a scam. And if you don't move with urgency. Like I, I, for the last seven years, I totally engulfed myself in crypto, investing, understanding market patterns, looking at financial indicators globally. So I, I didn't just wake up. This is not luck. This is the blessing of God, glory to God. And this is just playing on education, exposure and running with other whales. How do you become wealthy? Running with other people that are wealthy, you Whoa, cannot. Somebody just bought three million dollars of USDT. Oh my gosh! Look at this. We're seeing it right here on Well Alert, girl. Yeah, yeah. It's it's guys. Mm -hmm. This is what's going on real time, real time, real time, real time. We're watching it right now, and so now you're asking: Is should the market keep you out of crypto? Should the market keep you out of investing? So I hope you're able to see with this right here. Like you said, what are the whales doing? What are they doing? Because this is an opportunity. Anytime there's a collapse of, of some, something in real estate or crypto or oil or gold or silver, there is an opportunity. Anytime there is loss, there's somebody that's made a ton of money. That money did not evaporate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, that's money super good. Dirt. No, that's good. Uh, you know, I think that's why community is everything. That's why major deals are made on golf courses and yachts, right? You know, um, and, and that's why you have these, these, that's why this type of information doesn't get to the general public because they understand these things. And so your community is so important. You can't, the news, I mean, honestly, sensationalism, we know we've been on reality TV. I'm just good. Can we just tell the truth tonight? Yes. Listen. Uh, can we tell the truth? Listen. Sensational things, emotional things that get people riled up, that sells. Yep. But that's not necessarily the right thing to do. Yeah. Right? And so yep. at the end of the day, you got to kind of ignore the noise and stay yeah. focused. Yeah. Look at what the wealthy are doing, right? Yep. And say, you know what? That's what I'm going to follow. That's where I'm yeah. going to my 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 efforts right and so you know when you think about the season i'll tell you <laughs> christmas is so different now christmas is so yes. different i'm just everything's about investments right they Everything. make it out there too but i'm like what investment i said okay cool i can get ties on this i'm gonna get tied on this i'm gonna get caleb mm -hmm. my whole mindset has shifted and changed right in the yep. past i would say oh i'm gonna go buy this and but and you can get that that's cool but at the end of the day, you got to have your investments. You got to you got it. You got to you gotta have your investments. Janetta, I'm going to show them one other thing, too, while yeah. we're on this. Very uh, good. Let me share this. This is Kevin O'Reilly, and I think he really... Arculus uses three-factor really authentication to keep uh, your crypto ultra secure. Uh, the first level of protection uses something you are. 
The second 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 Glad, glad to, to have you. you. Glad, glad to have, to have back. you back. Uh, uh, before, before we get, get into some, some of the, uh, some, some of the, well, things that happened this past week, uh, do, do you think that this is it? Do you think, do you think that, that, that we've seen, seen the bottom right about, about 16 and change? change we, we've, we've, when, when, when it comes to Bitcoin, Bitcoin do you think that this is, this is all that there is? is or do you think that potentially there might be some weakness here in the markets and that people might lose some faith? in the next, in the next few, few weeks, weeks and sell, sell off their, their holdings. holdings. I think what, I think we, what need we need now um, is to flush out the auxiliary collapses that are going to occur because of accounts that, let's say, public mining companies have with FTX or other hedge funds uh, that, have that have obviously over the weekend uh, uh, gone to zero, gone to zero in their accounts. accounts. First, first, I have some disclosures here. here. Okay, number one, I'm a paid spokesperson of, of uh, FTX. FTX. So I've, I've been so dealing, I've dealing with their, with their um, management. I spoke, I spoke to Sam, Sam last week on Thursday. On Thursday. Uh, uh, I, also I also have corporate accounts in FTX. In FTX. Um, um, I'm, I'm also a shareholder, shareholder of FTX, FTX International, International and FTX, FTX US. US. So now, so now we, got we got that out of the way. I just want to make sure I'm being very transparent on this. Uh, but, uh, but we're not finished with the collateral, collateral damage. damage. And, so and so to your question, to your question this, is this is a bottoming process. process. An event like, like this is very important because, because it's finally, finally going to have several impacts in areas that we need. It's going to accelerate regulation, number one. As we speak, I'm at the Governor's Conference in Orlando. This is, this topic is topic number one, number one in financial, financial services. services. The, uh, the uh, discussion, discussion going on, going on last night and certainly today, today about... Okay, so the, the main thing I wanted you to hear him say, first of all, he was a big boy. Listen, I was a brand manager for FTX. I had holdings in FTX. I want to be honest with you. This is not, you know, even if we see Bitcoin drop from 16.5, where it's been kind of steady since FTX happened, this does not mean that crypto is over. They, they named this YouTube video, <clears throat> um, the FTX fallout does not kill crypto. So you have to understand that, you know, it's almost like having an argument in a marriage doesn't mean your marriage is over. And almost like you fall out with a friend doesn't mean the friendship is over. So you, when you think about becoming an investor, what do you do? You got to hang out with the wells. You got to hang out with the people that, you know, have high levels of exposure. You got to hang out with other wells. If you want to learn how to live off of the ROI, you got to hang out with people that live off of the ROI because living off the ROI is something that you're going to have to keep hearing. Even with me doing it, I still ingrain myself in the culture and I have, you know, friends and business partners that, you know, we're always strategizing. I'm investing this because I want this return. I wanted to pay for my mortgage. I wanted to pay for the car note today. Demetrius is on here right now. She's like, oh my gosh, my mortgage is now being paid in my car note. I don't know. You might've saw that in our chat. I did. So, Congratulations. I got to thank her. Yes. Huge, isn't it? So you got to get around people that are living off of the ROI because the more you're around it, then eventually it becomes like second nature. And when you think money, like Janetta said, you don't think Gucci bag, you don't think Louis Vuitton, you don't think, you know, Bottega. And there's nothing wrong with those things. But if I buy a Gucci bag, if I buy Louis Vuitton, I want it to be off of the ROI and not my hardworking income. Let me take my income and invest it. Yeah, yeah. No, that's so good. You know, and I think that's the thing. Um, just, I just think understanding that you need to think of everything of how can this, how can I double or triple this money, this investment, right? Whatever, every, every purchase you make, you need to be like, is this going to grow my money? You know, is there a way that I can figure out how to grow it? So it's just like strategically thinking about your, your buying and you, what things you're selling and just everything. It's just a whole strategy. Like everything's a strategy. I think that's the biggest thing before you're just kind of haphazardly doing things, but no, not every move you make is strategic. And that is really the secret to the wealthy. Um, and, and I know that's something new for me. You know, it was, and, and that's the thing, even if you're in business. And I love, one thing I love about Kevin O'Leary, which you shared that, I'm so glad you did. 
He's like, I took an L. That was really big and bold of him. He's he was like, a big boy. Yeah. He was a big boy. He was a big, was a big boy. boy. And in business, you may take some L's, right? Actually, every big business, they, you got some stories. You got some war scars, right? But with that being said, he's like, hey, that doesn't mean you don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Crypto still, guys, crypto's not going away. <laughs> Can I just just remember this moment? I said it. Janetta Burns, hey, right here, Baltimore, Maryland. It's not going away, guys, right? Mm -hmm. Now, yes, there's some things, marker correction, there are things happening in this, that, and the third. And, and yeah, they're going to be mismanagement in all areas. You see banks mismanaging. You know, uh, you know, they're, they're, uh, you got all kind of things out there. However, that doesn't mean it's all bad. And so with that being said, the biggest thing, if, if you don't take anything else away from this, right? Being serial entrepreneurs, we've been entrepreneurs. I've made millions, Jules made millions, making millions, all of that. My parents, we've been around that. You've got to learn to diversify. You've got to learn to invest. That is the key. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. The markets have cycles. They're ups, they're downs. They're things you didn't anticipate. Do you think the blockbuster thought that they would be obsolete? I'm just saying, right? Did Blockbuster really think they were going to be obsolete at any point? Absolutely yeah. not. And so it's so important that you understand the shifts, that you continue to grow, you diversify, and you invest. It's just that simple. <laughs> it's just that simple. So I, I think that's the biggest message yeah, I was That's say. so good. That's yeah. so good, sister. And I know we have a lot of people say yeah. yeah, no, that's really good. I think we helped a lot of people today. We talked about legacy. You know, why do we need wealth? You're supposed to have in your family, you know, yeah. who you're supposed to be helping in your family. Because if you can't pay your yeah. bills, you can't pay anybody else's bills, you know? Yeah. Um, Let and me say this. Okay, God, this wealth you've given me. Yeah, real quick. Yeah, I know that one thing about it, uh, you know, before we left mom and dad's house today, uh, we were all cleaning. I had, you know, Josh and Max. I said, you guys, you clean your grandparents' house. You all take care of them. So obviously we come into this world and our parents take care of us. But, you know, eventually, God willing, there'll come a time that the role shifts. And you start thinking, I mean, literally this whole weekend, I'm looking at dad, I'm looking at mom and I'm, you know, how can I help? And, you know, when you and I have these conversations, we're we're looking at how do we make sure that they never uh, go without, that we make sure that we provide and take care of them. And that's the natural cycle of life. It's the natural cycle of life, of life, God willing. And so I just think it's so important when you think about that, you know, having the resources is is really the key to be able to say, this is how I want my parents to live. This is how I want their health care to be. This is how, you know, all of their medicines. You know, we were talking about that. I was, you know, we were talking to our uncle. They got it just things come up and that costs money. And a lot of times insurance doesn't cover that stuff. And so what a blessing it is to understand that you don't have to get stressed out and worried and have anxiety over it. You just have to make the right moves. You got to make the right moves. You know, that is so good. Uncle Doug something, said something. He said, you know, he said, you can have a million dollars cash in the bank. He said, but you let the wrong thing go down in that body. Ooh. A month. Mind you, mind you, my uncle, our Uncle Doug, baby. Huh, see, when Uncle Doug came through, baby, he was that guy. Be clear with it. Body cut up physically, but there's, there's something, time, right? I'm just saying over time. A lot of times athletes, they're wearing on the knees and, you know, a lot of basketballers and stuff. So, guys, that's what I'm saying to have that available. And, you know, what else they told us? And this is just real talk. You, Julie, you know this. They said the nursing home is not it. His wife, his wife, her family owned a nurse, nurse owned a nursing home. She said, that's not it. No, nah, they aren't going to do them how you want to write. Never, she said, you never you want them to go there. You yeah, never so want them to go there. She I'm said, sure. statistics show 30 days after they've been in there. They, so they what you do away. is you want a private nurse to come to the crib, and depending on their level, it might need to be 24 hours, or it might need to be eight hours, or it might need to be seven hours, because I know I ain't equipped. 
I'm not equipped to give a grown person. I ain't a either. I ain't either. I'm, not. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, not equipped. I'm gonna be real. We, we ain't. That ain't us. That's not our thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so you gotta you gotta start thinking. Okay, if I if this if if somebody needed to be taken care of. And here's the thing. You're not supposed to take care of everybody in your family. We're not saying that's your responsibility sure. because I don't think it is. But I think there are certain people that God will put on your heart. It might be one. It might be two. It might be three. You know, everybody's family dynamics are different. But I'm saying at some point, even if it's not a blood family member, it might be somebody that you feel like, hey, I'm going to have to get them. You know what right. I mean? I'm it's supposed just, it's to about options, though. At the end of the day, it gives you options, right? You know, that's what this is all about, having options that, you know, you may or may not choose to do whatever, but you, at least you have the option. Money's the not option. You know what I'm saying? I mean, even today, we went and had, like, facial acupuncture and acupuncture for the digestive system. <laughs> that's so cool. How was it, by the way? I know it was amazing. It was amazing. And then, you know, then while we're there, of course, they have recommendations. So they're like, yeah. we recommend you take magnesium. And then they told yeah. Auntie, we we recommend you get this for your it bones. Does it does. Look good, baby. That all of that. Why do you think celebrities look like like a lot of celebrities who really tap in? They don't look like they age. That's all money. And insurance is not covering mm -hmm. any of it. None of it. But that that's that how part. you feel, Janetta, even how you feel. I mean, the nurses over here. I have a, we have a nurse that comes over and does IV infusions twice a month. You go get IV infusions. I'm probably $300 in Easy. a month for my IV infusions. Easy. It, it, yeah. All things go back to that. And that's why this is so powerful. It's so powerful because, you know, I, I believe and we talked about this. The world says, oh, you get older, you got to break down. You don't have to break down. You don't have to break down. You can, you can live really well and live long and strong and healthy and vibrant and look good. But guess what? The reality is it's going to cost money. And so all, ro all roads lead back to that. And what we're saying to you, learn to become an investor. You don't have to live check to check or contract to contract if you're in business or, you know, customer to customer. Guys, if you learn to invest, that's that, that's that safety net. That way, whether your business is in an up cycle or down cycle, you have that safety net and you allow yourself to live off interest. So you will put your, you know, living off interest for your mortgage or whatever and your cars and your travel. And that's the big, that's the key. That's what we're talking about tonight. That's, that's the key. That's the key. If you know you're on here tonight, you're like, okay, this brought a lot of clarity to me, clarity to me. I know either you're investing already or you're ready to invest. If you're investing already, I want you to put invest in the number two. If you're not investing already, you're like, I want to start investing. I want you to put invest in the number one. I just want to see who's on here tonight. You're ready to start. You're already investing with us. Hit invest in then two. I see some investors on here tonight. Yes. You're already investing. Just type in invest. And then the number two, if you're ready to start investing, put invest in the number one. All right. So we got Vernell on here. Elizabeth is already hey. investing with us. Angela is already investing with us. Shout out, you guys. Gwen is oh, ready to Gwen invest. Wants to invest. invest. Yes, Gwen. Yes. Invest. We want to invest. Put invest one. Yes, we want to see you. Leona is already investing. I love this. Lily is already investing. He's ready. Barbara's ready start investing great job congratulations probably one of the smartest financial decisions that you can make Trina, you know, yes. is Trina. Ready to Tina's ready to invest but invest one you're ready to invest Chris is already investing yes good job Tina's ready to invest hit type invest one if you are ready to start investing Marjorie. Marjorie is ready to invest I love it so you guys all of you who put invest one make sure you reach out to begin my legacy .com. Yeah, I'm going to call you tonight. It's not too late. Yeah. No, this is serious, guys. This is real talk. Um, you know, I think it's so good, you know, with the holidays, we come together as a family, but we have to have some of those tough conversations. Um, yeah. You know, that's one of the things we did this this week, Jill. We talked, we were talking with our uncle and his wife, and we were having one of those kind of tough conversations. You know, what does that look like when you can't work anymore, you know, or where you shouldn't work anymore? And, and, and you know, these are conversations you and I have all the time. And we have to understand that is that is our assignment. We, we're assigned to make sure we take care of the next generation. 
you know, and, and and when you know better, you do better. And so what we're telling you the do better and know better is to invest. I don't care That's if you it. work a job. I don't care if you own, I don't care how much money you're making. Guys, that's the thing about it. Like I said, you know, we made we made millions. That's that's cool. But if you're not investing, I'm not impressed. Because the minute the contract runs out, the minute the customers run out, you're in trouble. Or the market shifts. I love the blockbuster analogy. I, I go back to that all the time. They were at the top until stuff changed. And there's always a think of the music industry. People are just downloading music. Don't nobody have to go to record store. If you don't shift, guys, you're going to find yourself with your pants down, so to say. And so and you're going to be working so hard. Think about it. Our parents work so hard. We work so hard. Hey, Steve, I'm glad you're on here tonight. Steve and L'Oreal, hard workers, entrepreneurs, that's all good. But if you're working so hard and you don't have time, and this was me. I was working 14, 15 hour days, making really good, making millions of dollars. But if I stop and exhale, <laughs> you better not exhale, baby. And the if, thing is, that was me too. So made millions of business, but if market shifts, all right, what you doing though? What you got? What's, what's up? Right? Ooh, so that, thanks be to God, right? Thanks be to I moved be different now. I'm making millions now, but baby, I moved different, baby. I got all kind of levels to this, okay? Layers. That's the thing, guys. You got to understand that. And so I think I just pray that people hear our hearts and hear the yeah. wisdom. We've seen it yeah. in yeah. our family. We're living it. We're living it. We've done both. We've done just entrepreneurship. And then we've done investing. And I'm here to tell you that investing wins all day. All day. That I day. Decided, yeah. Oh. You, you don't have to work if you want to. That Working should be an option. Uh, uh, you know, in business, that should be an option. When you get your investments to a certain point, you could get to a point literally you're like, okay, if that's something I enjoy, I'm going to do it. But if not, I'm not. <laughs> and I don't have to. And all is well. All is Listen, well. I, I promise. And Chantel, I'm glad you said that. Yeah, whoever invited you on this live, get back with them. Get back yeah. with them. If they invited yeah. Chantel Jackson, invited you on this live, get back yeah. with her. Whoever invited you on. But if nobody invited you, then you know. But 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 the thing is, and it's crazy because I was addicted to the adrenaline. <laughs> I, like this year, it was like a serious detox for me. Like it would be yeah. like, whoa. No, okay. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell the. I'm gonna tell. Yeah. So Jewel, we be like stuff, and she'd still be on her phone. Like, like we'd be at family gatherings, and the kids are like, "Mom, are you paying attention?" She'd be like, "Yeah, I'm paying attention." But I'm so proud of you. No, seriously, you actually do. You actually show up like you're present for real, for real. Oh. So you've really grown in that area. Seriously. Thank God. But I had to. I had to be open to allow Holy Spirit. To help me. And then he brought people into my life that really, really played a big part. Lawrence yeah. Young, Bap Dumb, uh, yeah. Dumb, Ricky, I mean, Johnny Green. I mean, the list goes on. I got a tight Okay, but let me say this too, Jewel. Do it scared too. I did. No, because that's what I did. I oh, yeah, care. Yeah. Was totally yeah. about, I <laughs> care. You and my sister and my best friend. I did not like it, was super scary. For me, and I'm gonna speak to the women out there who have the boyfriends or the husbands. And I love my my husband is my best friend. I that's George is my like everything. He's the most outstanding husband ever. But when I first talked about learning in the space and, and it was some, he's like, uh, uh, uh. I had to do it scared. I had to trust my gut, trust my Holy Spirit, trust the inside, and it was super scary to me. I, I know how to get bags, but I know about investing. I'm like, I don't know about that. Like, I, am I smart enough for that? I'm smart. Like, I'm a very, you know, but it just was something that was so intimidating to me. Yeah. And so I just want to speak to you guys who are like, man, this is, sounds good. I hear them, but can I learn that? Man or woman, doesn't matter. And then you might go talk to somebody who might try to talk you out of it. But the mm -hmm. thing is, would you switch bank accounts for that person, first of all? And this, <laughs> and then second of all, what is God talking to you about? This yeah. maybe it's, it wasn't a conference call. Maybe it was just mm -hmm. you and God. Mm. Mm. That is so good. 
you know, you dealt with the fear. Because I remember, I think you invested and you pulled your money out. And I was like, oh, I what? probably, child, let me tell you something. <laughs> I probably invested and quit and I wasn't going to say nothing. You didn't say nothing. I wasn't going to say nothing. L'Oreal, honey, and Jill didn't say nothing. I wasn't going to say nothing. Because <laughs> I just didn't understand it. I was just like, you know, Jill be all like, yeah. You was like, yeah. I'm like, girl, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> well, we had that going. We had that going. And then we had a ton of people saying it's a Ponzi. It's a Ponzi. It's a Ponzi. It's a scam. It's that Not part. But wait, Joe, why will everybody wants to say stuff is a scam? And it's like, you guys, your life is a scam. Everything you got, that mug is not even right. You're working, you're doing all this stuff. It's not added up. You're struggling. You're robbing Peter to pay Paul. That's the scam while we're talking about scams. Guys, seriously, right? But it has to come to a point where you're like, man, but the fruit, numbers don't lie. You know what numbers I'm saying? Numbers don't lie. Numbers don't they, lie. And let's, numbers, let's look at it. Numbers don't lie. Numbers don't lie. And and everything costs. And I think, you know, we covered a lot tonight. We're going to be on here for 30 minutes, but the conversation just got so good. <laughs> so good. And I was asking questions. So it just kept, kept it going. This is so good. And so, you know, I think you can see you got every kind of person. You got the person that's super scared. You got the person that maybe is ready to take the risk. I know, same thing with my honey, Ben. Love him to life. But my baby was like, I'm not doing that. Now he's invested. You know, now he's going crazy with his numbers. And so, you know, sometimes you got to be that person in the family. You got to be that Joseph. You got to be that Esther. You got to be that one to say, I'm willing to take a risk. I'm a little scared. And it's okay to admit I'm scared. It's okay to say, I'm scared. Say you, real, real, you listen, you got to have stuff for yourself too. It's cool. Is a my husband, I love my husband, and we do so much ministry and business, all kinds of stuff. But you gotta move by yourself. If every move you make, you gotta check in with somebody, that's a problem. That is a problem. You come to the earth by yourself, or you're gonna leave by yourself. That's just real talk. So at the end of the day, it's certain things that you should be able to do on your own. You don't have to ask nobody because it resonated with you. The call was for you. And so to go back to that, the call wasn't for them. So if they say no, that's no offense to them, but it wasn't for them. And that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. And so understand that. And then that was one of the things I had to learn. I, you know, I didn't understand. I was definitely one of those wives like, oh, we have joined everything. No, you need your own account. That way you do what you want to do, what you want to do, how you want to do. And if they get it, great. And if they don't get it, great. Listen. Janetta, that's like in so many things because the investing leads to the ROI and the ROI, the ROI leads to you going to buy, you know, I bought a Bentley Bentayga a couple months ago. So grateful. My honey was so excited for me, but I didn't need his money to do it. I had my own. And I used oh, to say it again, Joel, say it again. Yes. No, please say it again. No, that gave me everything. One more time. <laughs> no, One more time. You did what? My honey, What'd you do? my honey, I was really good. My honey Bentayga. And I used the ROI to buy the Bentley. I didn't need my honey's money. I'm grateful for his money. He takes very good care of me, but I don't need it to move. Do you know how empowering that feels? Do you know how good that feels to not have to have permission? I mean, even the house that we're going to build for mom and dad, what if he's like, you can spend 200000 but I want to spend three fifty. Babe, that part, that's the fun part, for real, for real, deep. Because, you know, the party we about to have for daddy, I ain't ask nobody for nothing. I do what, what I do. I what, pay for it off. What, don't worry about what, me. What, 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 okay. What, Put some what, respect what, on my name. Put what, some respect what, on my what, name. What if you did have to get his permission and he said half of what you're going to do? Did you be like, well, well, he said, he said, we can't do that for my daddy. He said, what, like, silly. Yeah, that that was me, and that's what I'm saying to everybody listening, man. You got to understand. You know, even when you think about it, when you get married, Joel, you know this. It's two whole people. I know I'm not trying to get into that, but it's two whole people coming together. That's a healthy marriage, not a half and a half. And I'm a, no two whole. And a part of being whole, financially whole, financially sound. You don't you you move together. Yeah, we I'm telling you, Julie and my husband, we we locked in. But at the end of the day, I do what I want to do. 
Jewel does what she wants to do. There's certain investments that Jewel, God might have spoke to Jewel about that he didn't speak to Ben about, right? But later on, it was a good thing. But see, Jewel listened to what God said to her. See, we're individuals. And so it's so important that we make sure that we move separately, we move independently, right? You may have some joint things. I'm not against that because I work so closely with my husband on so many things. But guys, make sure we keep our independence. God has called each and every one of us. We are individuals. God made us uniquely, individually, right? That's important to understand. We're kind of playing God. We're playing God because we're trying to be like a, a cookie cutter. God ain't a cookie cutter God. Ooh, that's a word. Kathy is on here. Hey, darling. And she just hey, dropped. Sister. I mean, her number. If she want to put it in there, put it in the comments. I'll tell, but she just invested a large amount of money. I think what in the last 24 to 40 hours. And I'm so proud of her for that. And, um, and the thing about it, you can still have a great marriage. We respect yeah. the husbands. They respect marriage. We honor them. They honor us. We have great marriages. So it doesn't take away from your marriage, but we are also very clear that we're individuals and um, and, and we're not going to uh, compromise that because when we see women or men compromise it, then they lose. Yeah. Let me, let me say this too. I think a lot of times and like going back to marriage or if you're in a relationship, you set the standard for your relationship. Uh, a lot of times when we see this, I love our mom, our mom and dad, amazing. But our mom sometimes, um, how do I put it, Jewel? <laughs> well, you know, mom, I, mom thinks through dad. Okay, she thinks through dad. And a lot of times she gives him Period. more power. He's even Period. Willing, she gives him more power Period. than he really has or wants to have. He don't even want that level of power. So a lot of times the way she's moving is based on something that's in her own mind. That's I, not even I think you might happen. like it at this point. I think they've been doing it so long. You know what? This life isn't long enough for this. Okay. 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 Let's go back home. What am I saying though? Wait, let me get back. Wait, wait, wait. We love the amazing people, but you know, what's that generation? This is the thing. A lot of times we give power to people that they don't even necessarily want or didn't necessarily ask for. So in other words, you're up here trying to make a decision on if this is something you should do. And you're like, oh, but I got to see. So like, they weren't even really thinking like you. You put that on them. You could have just moved and did what you had to do. And if you would have moved with confidence with it and assertiveness with it. There wouldn't have been a question in the first place with it, but you went and you, you, you dumbed yourself down. Like you needed, you needed affirmation from a man or woman and where God had already told you in the first place. The only person we have to be affirmed by is God. At the end of the day, I'm just saying. And so it's just important in the space, especially in investing. We see this a lot in money. And I was guilty of it. So I'm speaking to you as a person who's been delivered from that. Because I would ask my husband, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? And so what I'm saying to you is, guys, understand that you know, if you're listening to this, if this really resonated with you, you're like, I know this is, this is for me. I feel you. I hear you. Reach out and, and stay with it. Is stay with it and, and make that move. It's going to be one of the best things you ever did. It's so much freedom. It's so much freedom and being able to do what you want to do when you want to do it. Like Jill said, she got the Bentayga. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't have to grab a knife. She just pulled up on her. <laughs> Girl, you, I want to go get me some. Like, come outside, baby. Come outside, baby. Don't even worry about it. We about to go somewhere. We about to but go somewhere. But I got somewhere. it right. We went in the back seat and, and christened it. Hey, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. They weren't ready oh. for that, baby. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't Ooh. ready. They weren't they ready. ready. So listen, if you're ready to start investing, yes, connect, uh, beginmylegacy.com to get started. Yeah. Whoever invited you. you right now, literally, whoever hits me up, I'm about to call you. And it's me. It is me. Yeah, real talk. Right now. If they yeah. ask you for money, it ain't me because I ain't. No, they, no, we, don't, ain't doing that. we ain't don't doing that. that. No but no I'm going to call you like for real tonight. we about to Absolutely. get this for real. 2023 Absolutely. is coming, Joe. We can't play. Honestly, we can't tonight, 
um, I just, I didn't even get to talk to you. So I, the next family, well, we have another family gathering, but then in the summer, you know, we're doing the 4th of July and, yeah. um, and I were talking about, we're going to have a yacht party. And I was like, honey, we need our yacht. We got to be able to do at least 50 people on the yacht. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to go see the fireworks in Baltimore. They got the symphony going, whatever, whatever. But my it's point good. is, yes, it, uh, the fact that you're able to dream and think, dream big. What did our dad tell us? I'm going to tell you guys what our dad told us. Dream big, think big. Why not you? Why not you? Mm -hmm. Guys, one thing I love about children I have an early childhood degree. I love children. They can get a box. They can get crayons and paper and they will build a castle. And you'll go, this is my castle and this is my this and this. Is. And then something happens as we grow older and we're not able to dream anymore. We're not, you know, because the world tells us, oh, you can't do that. You No, yes, you can. I want you to dream big. Whatever mm -hmm. your goals, whatever mm -hmm. your desires, you can have it. Go mm -hmm. to the top. Whatever it is, be extravagant, yeah. be extra, be over the top because we serve a big guy. He's able to do anything. Mm. We put the limits. We put ourselves in the box. So guys, what we're telling you is this is the, this is the key. You're like, okay, yeah. I know I want big. I want this, that, and the third. Well, what's the key? Investing. Mm -hmm. Got to. That's the key in the natural. You got to That's why in the natural people who are not even Christian, they're not, not even believe in Jesus have tapped in because they understand that law of money investing. Now you take that law and the anointing. Yeah. 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 We release it now what? in Jesus name. We what? release it now in Jesus what? name. You You're better. changing nations. You're sitting with the heads of States. Mm. Baby, mm. you take that law and the anointing. Mm. Game, mm. Over. Game, mm. Over. Mm. Mm. game over. Game over. Game over. Game over. So listen, whoever invited you on here, get back with them now. Okay. Let's finish 2022 stronger than ever. Let's go on to 2023 postured for millions, multiple millions, 10, 20, 50, 100, dream big. You can get there. Start where you are. Start where you are. We recommend starting with at least $1,000, all right? So I love y'all. All right, Janetta, love you. I I'm love about you to too. Back to this couch, honey. Listen, me too. Yeah. Listen, guys, go ahead and reach out now. BeginMyLegacy.com. I'm literally going to reach out to you right away. Don't send nobody your money, okay? There ain't nobody about to do that. Uh, but definitely reach out right away. Listen, I just thank Dr. Jewel. What an outstanding leader. I love you, sister. I'm so proud of you. She is phenomenal. Man, you can't get under any better leadership. And I'm following right with my sister, honey. So listen, I encourage you. Reach out today. Listen, the best days of your life are ahead of you, right? Yeah. We would just speak overflow and abundance over you. 2023 is going to be your best year yet in the name of mm. Jesus. Ooh, period. Yeah. Period, 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 period. Multiple mansions, penthouses, drivers, yes. Drivers, right. housekeepers, cooks, we release it now in Jesus' name. Jesus All right. Name. Whoever reached out to you, if nobody reached out to you, go to um, beginmylegacy.com. And she'll reach out to you right now. Yep. All right. Love y'all. Bye. 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 Bye.